Uh, July 2nd, uh, 2019, I'm in Brentwood, California today, uh, standing in front of a block of Flagler that I planted with GNS Farms. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of insight as to what I'm seeing today. So as you can see here is the field. This is Flagler. Um, excellent plant, dark green, uh, good height. Um, we've got great uh, flags up above, covering the ears, very little potential for sunburn. So from an agronomic standpoint, growing standpoint, the corn looks very happy and healthy. Now I'll walk over here to my truck and I'll kind of show you what I've been doing. So um, we've been looking uh, at the ears. Got some ears pulled here. We've got nice short shanks, uh, attractive husk, attractive husk color, uh, excellent flagging on the ears. And uh, again, probably completely viable for mechanical or uh, hand harvest, other than it might be a little bit tender for mechanical harvest. Uh, moving down to the ears, you can see a slightly rounded butt, but the uh, fill on the butt looks pretty good. Tip fills excellent. Uh, semi-rounded, semi-determinate tips. Um, been bricksing a few out here. They're running, you know, between 16 and 17 bricks. So very, very sweet. Uh, eating quality of this variety is excellent. Um, you can see a little bit of damage here from my, when I husk them, which uh, is a little bit concerned for mechanical harvest, uh, but the variety is exceptionally tender, sweet, and flavorful. Um, again, great tip fill. Moving over to some additional evaluations that I look at for uh, the tray pack industry. Uh, we come down, we look uh, in here to see if we see any, uh, uh, any, any dark color down where the kernel attaches to the cob. There's been some problems in the past with varieties having kind of a black uh, attachment point that causes some rejects at the tray pack level. And then I went ahead and sliced some vertically, again, just looking for uh, dark color uh, approaching black. Um, on the cob where the kernel attaches. Uh, finally, moving over to our uh, our uh, tip cover, and we got a solid two to two and a half inches tip cover. Not too tight, not too loose. Um, looks good. So, hope we see some uh, commercial sales of this variety in the future.